Hi Christoph. So I'm going to just show you quickly how to handle this CSV by converting it to a UTF-8 with a byte order mark before you do the translation work using the file encoding converter. So if I start off by just opening the file in my text editor, so you can see here's the original source file, and you can see down here that it's encoded as a Windows 1252 file. So I'm going to change that, and I could do it in here, but if I had thousands of these files, then obviously that would not be practical. But what I can do is using the file encoding converter application, I could more than one go. So I can fire up this application, looks like that. I'm going to add the source file, the CSV, and you'll see it's recognized as an ANSI file. So I can double click that and now associate Unicode UTF-8 with it. File encoding and associate the active encoding. Now it's UTF-8, or it will be UTF-8 when I process it. I then want to change the, the and byte order mark to be yes, because I want it to assign a byte order mark, a bomb. And then I click on start processing. That's done, I click on close. So you'll see now I have a backup of the original file and the new CSV. If I open that in my text editor, it's still all legible, but you'll see now it's UTF-8 and has a byte order mark, a bomb. So I now should be now ready to go. So if I come over to Studio, I open that file in Studio. I've got a little TM attached. I'm going English to Greek. So open the file. There's all the different cells. I've used machine translation and put the information into a TM. I appreciate these are probably not right, but they have the right characters. That's just the main thing for my exercise. So now I'm going to share, save the target file. I don't even need to change the encoding down here because I already changed the source file to something that's appropriate. So now I click on save. So I now have a target file. And if I open that in a text editor, you can see I've got the Greek characters. They're all still legible and I'm still UTF-8 bomb. So now if I double click the file, you should associate it with Excel and open up and the characters are still all perfectly um, visible and legible. So that's how you would do it doing that. If you wondered how I did this file, um, because you might be wondering how I opened a CSV and extracted everything like that, I didn't actually know what you want to translate it. So what I did was I created a custom text file, which looks like this. So here, CSV Greek. I did that by clicking on new and just regular expression delimited text. And then I associated it with CSV in the settings by writing CSV there. The document structure is default, pull everything out. And then in the inline tags, I created a regular expression to exclude, I'll show you if I edit the rule, to exclude um, a placeholder. And basically that's a comma, and it's a comma so long as it's not before or after a number because you have numbers in there which were um, which 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 would have we would have separated otherwise and didn't seem to make sense this might not be the right rule for your actual file but it did the job for what i wanted here and in the advanced you can see i said exclude and that's what did it and i also did the same thing for the apostrophe and the space apostrophe uh, not apostrophe quotation the space double quote and space ordinary double quote, so I, I moved those outside as well, which made it a nice clean um, file when I opened it for translation like that, so it's nice and clean. That's all I did there, so a little bit of extra information there. It might not be relevant to you, but if it is, then I hope that helps.